Hi guys, it's Mama, Hip Flippin' Mama, aka Kelly, aka whatever you want to call me. I am back with another preview video for you for my auction tomorrow night. Pardon my computer, it's just now decided to have the fan kick in, so it's quite noisy. Um, if this is your first time finding my channel, hello and welcome. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and that will tell you the next time I go live or I release a video. Okay, who wants to see some jewelry? I thought so. Okay, the first item that I'm going to show you just right out the bat is not 925. I purchased this just simply for I don't want to say the strike value but I purchased this because I saw it and I was like oh. it just spoke to me it hit me um it was just one of those things that pulled at me. It's got, you know, a, you know, one of those cords on it, the fabric cords, which I don't like. I'm not really happy with those. But look at this cross. Built with nails. Or what are meant to be nails. There's the front. There's the back. There's my computer fan again. I don't know what about this made me stop and just go, wow. Um, I have to get that. But I had to get it. I had to get it. So I got that. And another pendant that I got this needs a little clean yeah, it looks it looks pretty good now you would think that let me get this to focus Come on, focus. Focus. Oh, it'll focus there. But you would think this is red jasper, wouldn't you? It certainly looks like red jasper. Wow. Well, Maybe it'll focus up here. Let's try it again. Yeah. It's not red jasper. It's acrylic. And I got it all excited thinking it was red jasper and it's not. It's acrylic. But it's still super beautiful. Oops. And it's 925. It's Mexican 925. Well, you'll see it tomorrow night. But it's still really beautiful. It's really, really pretty. And then I got this. Spoon ring. Oh, you know, I should forgive myself for the ponytail, all ratty, in my Captain America t-shirt. I know you guys don't usually see me dressed down this much, but it's 11 o'clock at night on a Wednesday night, and I'm really ready just to go to bed. <laughs> um... So, and my husband's sleeping, so I couldn't get to my, my clothes to change anyway. 
So I've got this spoon ring with a turquoise in it. I have that for tomorrow. <gasps> Look at these. These are so beautiful. I did clean these. These are vintage. I did clean these. Um, just because I wanted to see them cleaned. But look at these earrings. Aren't those beautiful? Can't get them to quite lay the way I want them to. Aren't those pretty? Uh -uh -uh. Maybe I'm just holding it wrong. Pretty. I cannot wait to for you guys to see those under all the lights and everything tomorrow. And then I got these earrings. These are 925. And these are cat's eyes. And they are kind of a, a black with a blue in the center. I got you ready I sold the pendant last week and I saw these earrings and I was like I have to have those wait till it focuses do this without let me tilt this down maybe that will help yeah remember the uh, necklace the pendant I sold to Gianna last week yeah baby they need a cleaning but that's okay I have those and those are so pretty. These, I'm not even going to unhook them, but they are glass beads with 925 beads to accent them. And the lever backs are 925. And then I have some pearl earrings that are very similar. 925 lever backs with 925 beads. These pearls are genuine. They're Baroque pearls. They're uh, a Baroque pearl is a pearl, pretty much a pearl that does not look perfect. A pearl that maybe has the banding around the middle and one side's a little bigger than the other side. I prefer um, Baroque pearls better than perfect pearls. That looks pretty round, but there's the, that's what I'm talking about right there. Where they're, they're not perfectly round and there's usually a band in it. That's a Baroque pearl. Ooh. So, I've got a big ring. I think this is a size 10. 10, maybe a 10 and a half, something around there, 9 and a half. Between 9 and a half and 10 and a half, I'd have to get my mandrel out, and I don't want to do that. But, look at this. It is a amethyst ring, but it's just so beautiful, and it's actually coming through as purplish. 
but it's got a really it's got a really pretty setting it's got two little CZs on each side I gotta block everything else out all right talk about frustrating sorry guys I guess I'll have to put it on my finger and then it'll yeah me see look at that it's got a unique styling to the band which I like I have this ring which is a dome ring see it stands up higher but it's got a really unique focus it's got a really unique there we go boy I'm just riding that struggle bus today that's all right as long as I'm on the bus as long as I'm on the journey right guys there we go. There we go. Really unique artisan work with this ring. I promise it won't take so long to focus on this one. This is a beautiful, I'll give you a side view first. A height, the height of it. It's not very high, but look at how beautiful this onyx is. And here's the side view. And here's the other side view. Here we go. And then the shank is smaller in the back than it is in the front. But that is a beautiful ring. And that's a probably about a seven and a half but that is a more substantial ring it's got some weight to it and some presence to it and then I've got this gorgeous gorgeous lapis ring on the smaller side Where am I going with this? Let me move this back over here. I'm very disappointed in my camera today. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. Isn't that a beautiful lapis? Mmm. And there's a side view. So you've got the two bands coming together. And then they form one in the back. That is so cute. Look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Ring. Hopefully, you guys, I will get to all of this tomorrow. I'm going to try. I'm showing you what I have available. Um, I'm just going to show you everything. And hopefully, I'll get to everything. And if there's something that you see and I haven't shown it in the auction, request it. Just go ahead and request it. And that way, we'll make sure that you get to see it these earrings are brand new they're brand new but not only do you get the earrings isn't that beautiful not only do you get the onyx earrings but you get 
a pendant to go to. So you get all three. I'm just going to show you the pendant right now. So you can get it up close. Of it. I'm going to drop this. I know it. Isn't that beautiful? And there's the back. So you'll get the pendant and both of the earrings. I'm just going to sell them all as a set. They came as a set. It was an older, well, they were on the card. Um, I don't want to say they're vintage, but they were all on the card. And I had a heck of a time getting the pendant off from the wire, from being wound um, for so long. It, it was hard to get off. So I, it's got to be, you know, they've got to be 10, 15 years old. You know, because the card was really, really old. And you could just tell that it hadn't ever been taken off the card. And it was an older card, so. I have this ring. I love this ring. It's a smaller sized ring. But look at the scroll work in this. Isn't that beautiful? And it's got the diamond cutting. See that? If I gave it a bath, it would be a lot more shinier. But I can't clean everything. It's just really, really pretty. And you can see right through it, the filigree. This is really pretty. And then I've got an even smaller ring that is abalone see the abalone see how beautiful that abalone is see the flash in that now you see it now you don't isn't that gorgeous look at the setting the setting is so pretty and again, it, you've got the two stems coming up, you know, and it becomes just one small band in the back. I've only got a couple more things to show you, and that's it. I got these, which these have, these are beautiful earrings, but these have... Um, like some type of wash over the front of them. They're silver, but there's some type of, maybe it's enamel over the front because the silver in the front is different than the silver in the back. Can you tell the difference how that's really shiny? But this is heavily worked, so that could be why. On camera, it almost looks like a like a whitish type finish. I'm going to save my favorite thing for the last. But this is second to last. So this is Chrysophrase. And it's a beautiful bracelet. And it is, with the extension, it's almost 9 inches. Um, but at the end of the stone, it would be seven and a half. So you have quite a bit of um, extension on this. But here is the actual stone. It is a gem. It tests as a gem. It tests as chrysophase. And it's faceted. And it's kind of got a gold wash on it. But it does test 925. And then each one of these beads tests the same. And there's that great big long extender. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready for my favorite thing? 
If you watched Bible study today, you saw me wearing it. But, I will go ahead and show you now. It is two inches by one and three quarters inches wide. So two inches tall and one and three quarter inch wide. You ready? Do you see that? Can you tell what color it is? It's, it's light purple. I know right now it's looking blue. It's looking blue on the camera. But I promise you it is a very, it's a light purple. And let me try it against this white box. There we go. Now you can see more, more purple. But look at how many, this is Iolite. Okay. So this is actually a real gemstone, you guys. This is actually a true and real gemstone. And it is a precious stone. And you're getting three, six, eight in each flower. And there are six flowers. So you're getting 48 pieces of iolite. And I run across purple iolite quite a bit. It, you know, it's more of a, a lavender um, stone, but it is so beautiful. I mean, it's huge. So big. There's against my hand. Here's against a white box. So you can definitely see more color on the white box. It's looking more blues, but it's purples. But isn't that gorgeous? Here's the back. So that is the last of my items to show you. I may have more items tomorrow. I don't know. You may see those items instead of some of these items. I don't know. I don't know if I could get through all these items in one auction. I'm not sure. We can try. Depends on how it goes tomorrow. But I do know this. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Hip Flippin' Mama's YouTube channel, the party will begin. It's actually going to probably begin at like 6.40, 6.45. Um, I like to jump on early and chat with people. And I know last week my internet went out. And I found out it's not my internet at all. It's my computer. It's my computer that is the problem. So what I'll do is I'll restart the computer before we start the auction. But also what I'm going to do, pardon my chat flips, you guys. I keep wanting to dig at them. Um, what I also want to do is just in case it happens, I'm going to go through StreamYard and that way if I do get booted off during the auction, I can jump back on, I can jump back into my StreamYard. I won't have to start a whole nother um, stream like you have to in YouTube. So we won't have to worry about that. You'll just have to worry about me restarting my computer, but I'll still be able to jump right back into the um, the original stream so nobody has to go anywhere. Okay, guys. That is it for tonight. And I will see you. I'm looking around thinking, did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? 
I don't think I did. All right. Well, I will bid you adieu. Hit that like button for Mama. It really helps a Mama out. And if you're not subscribed, please do. And hit that notification button too. Why not? Why not? You might like a video or two that you see. So, I will see you tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern. Mm -hmm. Mama loves you.